let us discuss a problem uh, from the concept of uh, freely falling body and uh, this is actually an ISRO question okay ISRO 2016 question uh, the question has been already displayed in the board you can just uh, go through the question first pass the video and try to solve that question uh, once after that anyways I'm going to explain to you and uh, this is a very good question okay so let me just uh, start explaining to you but before uh, starting the video you try to pass it and try to do it by your own okay so let me start explaining so they given that there is a there is an object there is a ball there is a ball okay so which is getting dropped from a distance d okay so this is the ground okay so this is the ground and from ground at a distance d the ball is being dropped okay so this ball is going to move downwards okay it's going to move downward it is dropped from a distance d and once and and once it touches the ground okay once it touches the ground it will again bounce back to a distance of d by 2 okay this is the basic statement which is given after this they also mentioned that neglect the r resistance as i already said that in this particular topic we won't talk about r resistance we will neglect r resistance and also they said that um, neglect the subsequent motion obviously after reaching d by 2 again it will uh, come back and again there will be another uh, bouncing back right they asked us to neglect that also so what is happening i'm dropping a ball it is reaching the ground and after reaching the ground it is losing some kinetic energy obviously after the collision it will lose some energy and then again it, will, it is bouncing back to a distance of d by 2 and uh, subsequent motion is uh, neglected and air resistance is neglected now they given a plot okay between velocity and the height and also they mentioned height is above the ground okay height is above the ground this word indicates you have to you have to take height in this direction okay so in this direction only h has to be measured from the ground i need to measure okay h is the height above the ground okay right so height is above the ground so they are asking us to find out the relation between velocity and height so how to do that they given four options different diagrams are there and they are asking us to determine this a very good question listen carefully see first and foremost we will take this case okay i am taking a ball and i am dropping it it is reaching the ground when i am dropping okay this is a case of descending right i'm just dropping it without any um, what i could say without any projection so obviously the initial velocity is going to be zero this is very straightforward initial velocity is zero and g value that is acceleration due to gravity is going to be in the direction of motion itself so g is going to be positive g is also going to act only body is also moving in this direction only so g will be positive let us since i am going to plot it i will give a, a definite uh, direction for velocity let us consider uh, if if the body moves up that is if the velocity is acting upward okay i will take it to be positive okay if the velocity is acting upward that is the body is moving uh, the ball is moving upward it has to be positive when it is moving downward i will consider it to be negative okay now coming to uh, coming to this question so i dropped from uh, well uh, i dropped from a distance d and it travels a distance d and hit the ground now what is the equation i could use here simple equation we have initial velocity we need to find out what is the velocity at which it is hitting the ground right that is the final velocity i need to find out how can i do simply i will use v square minus u square is equal to 2a s formula okay v square final velocity that is something which i need to find out let it be initial velocity u square that is zero okay which is equal to 2 a s uh, 2 and g is positive because it is following the same direction s is nothing but the total distance okay so let it be d okay let it be d okay now this when let me let me just give you the one more one more thing height right so when height is zero okay when height is zero means what here at this particular point okay at this particular point when height is zero what is my velocity when h is equal to zero my velocity let me take it as small v that is my final velocity capital v okay when h is equal to d okay when it reaches here my velocity was my velocity was zero okay so when height okay when height was zero my velocity is capital v and what is that value v is equal to root of 2 gd and in which direction it is acting in which direction it is acting it is acting in downward direction we assumed that upward means positive 
downwards means negative so this velocity is acting downward direction so it has to be taken as negative okay so when h is zero in the plot okay in the plot it is going to be zero comma capital v and capital v is nothing but root of 2g d and i need to add a negative sign why negative sign because uh, the velocity at this point is acting downward so where will be my plot zero comma minus uh, root of 2 gd so zero comma minus root of 2 gd let me take it here okay so this point represent root 2 gd okay minus anyways i am i am marking it in the negative direction so it is negative okay another point is this one which is d comma zero okay so velocity will be zero uh, when uh, the height was d okay, when the height was d velocity will be zero let me take some point here okay this is uh, d point okay and velocity is also zero so this is the point where velocity will also be zero right see this uh, this represent uh, some point d in x axis and velocity is also zero so which means this is going to be u is equal to zero which is nothing but what d comma zero point okay this is d comma zero point right so we found out uh, corresponding to this uh, particular place this is going to be my coordinate corresponding to this particular place this is my coordinate now how to find out the uh, graph or how to find out the curve which is connecting this two you can connect it directly as a straight line can i do that of course i should not do that listen carefully see v square from this equation v square is equal to 2 gd right so it's a parabolic equation with respect to d instead of d i can put h okay instead of d i can take it as height so with respect to height v is parabolically varying okay so it's a parabolic curve so it should be something like this it's a parabolic curve it should connect like this and how it is how it is varying initially it is zero okay initially it is zero as it is moving down moving down moving down the velocity is increasing and when it is hitting the velocity becomes capital v that is velocity become root of 2 gd so the arrow mark should be in this direction okay i'm dropping it okay so you can just see i'm dropping it from here okay i'm dropping it from here so it is starting from here as it is moving down velocity keep on increases and when it reaches here velocity was root 2 g d and similarly velocity is increasing 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 it is reaching root 2 g d why negative sign because velocity is um, a velo because the body is moving downward direction okay so we got one curve and what about the next curve uh, this is done now it hit the ground it loses some kinetic energy it's bouncing back when it is bouncing back it is reaching d by 2 distance and when it reaches the maximum distance okay when it reaches the maximum distance what will happen to velocity we already discussed in the concepts video of uh, freely falling body right when it reaches the maximum distance velocity becomes zero i will just take it as v okay v becomes zero see this is final velocity for this motion right the motion from this point to this point when it is moving up when it is moving up it will move it will move with some velocity let me take it as u1 okay and when it is reaching here v1 it will become zero after hitting it will again it, it's going to bounce back when it is bouncing back it will bounce back with some velocity as it moves up 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 the acceleration due to gravity is acting downward so due to this acceleration due to gravity the velocity will be keep on decreasing as it is moving up and once it reaches this point v1 becomes zero okay that is velocity becomes zero and after this again it will fall back so they asked us not to consider that we'll consider only this okay so now um, what is the relation by which i can find out this v1 u1 u1 i'm sorry that is initial velocity with which the ball is bouncing back again the same relation okay v1 square minus v square minus u square is equal to 2 as in this particular case it is v1 square minus u1 square which is equal to 2 what about g g is acting down right g is acting down so it is minus g and what about s the distance it's going to be d by 2 okay when it reaches half of the full distance uh, the velocity is becoming zero that is what that is the maximum height it could reach okay so s was d by 2 anyways this has become zero so this minus this minus i could cancel so finally and this two this two also i get cancelled so v1 will be equal to root of gd okay and in which direction this velocity is acting 
it's acting upward it's acting upward so it has to be it's acting upward so it has to be positive okay so now plot it what are the plots this point corresponding to height has to be measured in this direction okay height has to be measured in this direction so this point corresponding to height was d by 2 velocity was 0 and this point okay, this point corresponding to height was 0 right because it is in ground it is in ground height was 0 x axis will be 0 y axis is u1 which is nothing but 0 comma root gd okay let me plot it first d by 2 comma 0 d by 2 comma 0 means somewhere here okay somewhere here half of the distance so d by 2 comma 0 and uh, 0 comma root 2 gd this is uh, root sorry 0 comma root gd this is uh, root 2 gd right so root gd means somewhat less than that of this and also it is positive that's very important since it is positive it has to be here so somewhere here we will take it out okay so this distance let it be root gd okay and uh, let me take this as okay let this be d by 2 comma 0 let it be not an issue uh, so this point represent what this point represent um, uh, 0 comma root gd okay so 0 comma root gd plus gd because it is acting upward now how to connect this to how to connect how to connect straight line or curve it is curve why because v1 u1 is equal to root uh, gd square it u1 square is equal to gd so again it's a parabolic curve again it's a parabolic curve so i need to connect it in a parabolic manner and what about arrow mark what about arrow mark it should be like this or it should be like this see from here it is moving up right so from the coordinate 0 comma u1 where is 0 comma u1 here from here the ball is moving up so from here it is moving okay from here it is moving so arrow mark so arrow mark should be in this direction so the direction of arrow mark is also important okay so let me say it again why I am marking this arrow from this point to this point? Because the ball is dropped from top to bottom. Okay, so from here to here. So coordinate variation will be from d comma zero, from d comma zero to uh, zero comma v. That is zero comma root two gd. Okay, and negative sign because velocity at this point is acting down. So arrow mark in this direction. And here arrow mark arrow mark was in this direction. The reason is after after hitting, it's bouncing back, right? And when it is bouncing back, it is bouncing from this point, that is from ground. Ground is 0, u1 to d by 2, 0. Okay, so 0, u1 that is 0, root 2 root gd to d by 2, 0.